hello how you doing today welcome to your show our show uh everybody's show once again don't mind me i'm just rambling about um thank you so much for joining us on the show once again on farmer up tv um your uh show your farm farming go-to show everything that has to do with um, agriculture that's what we talk about uh thank you so much for being part of the show uh, uh today is um it's a very important um uh topic that we're we're going to be talking to you about and we have a wonderful guest online who's going to be doing justice to um you know the topic giving us information what is needed and, and all that uh we all want to be farmers we all want to succeed in farming uh but the one thing that we always seem to forget is that um it's a business and it needs to be treated like a business we need to make sure that we protect our our um products our farm we need to be able to protect our machineries. We need to protect um, the end product itself. This is where our topic for today comes in, uh, which is basically the benefits of um, um, agriculture insurance to farmers. So that's um, our topic for today. So we have um, a wonderful guest um, in the name of Mr. Ayuba John, who is going to be um, talking to us um, about um, everything insurance when it comes to um agriculture how we are how we should um protect our uh, our farms and our uh, produce and um you know so that we have um we 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 so that we we will succeed that's just a basic thing because the only the reason why we were doing this is i want to succeed in every way and we also want to make sure that um we 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 protect ourselves as much as we can so um mr ayuba is um um at the head of um agricultural insurance underwriting department of tangerine africa uh which um, is an insurance um, company back in nigeria so he's going to be taking us um on uh, information how to go about it to protect ourselves so that we make uh, make sure that um you know we succeed at the end of the day uh so thank you so much for being part of the show if you like what we're doing um you know always give us a thumbs up on um on um on on the show and um if you uh not subscribed yet please do subscribe um click on the notification button as well so that you are able to hear um you are able to know when we're posting new um topics uh, or we're having new guests or any new um show on the on the program so thank you so much uh let me see if mr yuba is online so that we will be able to get him online uh well it seems he's not online yet so we are going to just wait a few minutes to see if we can, you know, he was online before, but probably because of the network, he was off. So we'll, we'll try and wait for him and see if we can get him back online. So like I said, our topic today is about um, insurance in agriculture, how to protect ourselves um, as much as we can. So this is what Mr. Um, Ayuba John is going to be talking to us about. Like I said, he is the head of agricultural insurance underwriting department, insurance underwriting department of Tangerine Africa. So he's going to be talking to us and, um, you know, um, their website, um, I believe, is um, tangerine.africa. I believe that's the website, but uh, when it comes on, I would um, verify that um, as well. So you can always look them up, you know, make sure you, anything that has to do with um, insurance for your products, you can always have, um, check them out there. So thank you so much. Um, remember to always check us out on all our social media um, pages like Facebook, um, uh, Twitter, Instagram, and um, the likes. We, we're always posting different things, different information um, that has to do with agriculture on there. So just, um, you know, always be part of us. Um, we're a family, we're a community. And um, the whole idea about the show is um, we, we want to make sure we are helping each other to succeed. And that's why, you know, Mr. 
John Ayuba is here as well. So let's see if we can get him on now. Hello, Mr. John Ayuba, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Um, are you? Yes. Oh, thank you so much for doing. I can see your video is not um, working anymore, but that's okay. At least we can hear your voice, and you know, we we see your picture as well, so we we can still do with that. Thank you so much for you know staying on on with us. Uh, so please, can you please um do us um a little favor by telling us exactly who you are, what you do. And um, any other little information that you think um, our viewers would want to hear about you? Hello, Mr. Ayuba, are you there? Hello? Hello, are you there? Hello, sir. Are you there? Yeah, in uh, in Abuja. Okay, uh, can you start the, the sir, weather? Can you start over is, again um, because we 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 didn't the, hear we didn't hear you when you started. So can you just and then with... it's about raining. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, um, from what he's saying is that um, it's about raining in Abuja and, um, you know, when it rains in Nigeria, the network are always terrible. I know that once <laughs> for a fact. <laughs> so it's going to be a very, diff you know, difficult show today. Um, let me see, what can I do? Because this is an information that we really, really would want to, you know, talk about. I want yes, to see if, uh, uh, you you keep breaking because of the network here. The network yeah. is very very poor here in Abuja. So um, I know. Um, uh, so what I was asking is that I wanted you to do a little bit introduction about uh, of who you are. Um, tell us what you do, and um, you know any little information that you want to share with um, with us. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Um, my name is, uh, and thank you for having me in this show to, tonight. My name is Ayuba John. I, I currently work with uh, Tangerine General as a head of agric insurance uh, underwriting. Now, uh, before joining Tangerine, I was working with, I started my uh, insurance career in Naik. I know most of us as farmers here will know uh, Nigerian Agricultural Insurance Corporation. After putting on um, 12 years of service in Nike, I, I voluntarily retired. <laughs> yeah, you may wonder why, you may wonder that a young guy is retiring. Yeah, um, <laughs> the thing is, um, uh, uh, if you work in the government in Nigeria here for 12 years, I know for 10 years, anything from 10 years or you are resigning is assumed that you are voluntarily retiring. So I'm a retired civil servant. So oh, okay. I joined um, the private sector. Uh, I started uh, my, uh, I joined the private sector as, um, with uh, Fin Insurance. Fin Insurance is under the Cornerstone Group. That's after the federal government of Nigeria decided to give. Um, other private sector license to underwrite agric insurance. Formerly, we know the only insurance company that is allowed to underwrite agric insurance is only Nike. Nike, Nike is a government owned organization. But because of the penetration in um, agric uh, and the, ne the need for penetration of an um, agric insurance, the federal government decided to, okay, let's throw it out to uh to private insurance companies so that we can have mm -hmm. more because of the the kind of uh, investment that uh, the federal government is investing into the agriculture, agriculture. so then um, and one of the one of the requirement is that uh, for an before an insurance company will be given license you need to bring on board a very a, an experience on the writer and of course you know the only way you can have an experience on the writer maybe a, a former staff of Nike 
Oh, um, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. So that's how I get to join and uh, Finn uh, from Finn Insurance. I joined Finn Insurance 2021, and later on, uh, I get to join uh, Tangerine because of the brand. It's a new brand in Nigeria that came on board. Um, and coming on board in Nigeria here, they started with uh, started buying off the shares of um, insurance company like uh, uh, Law Union and Rock. Law Union and Rock has been in existence in Nigeria for over over fifty years. Yes, they bought over Law time. Union and Rock. Yeah, yeah they bought over Law Union and Rock and um, and changed the name to Tangerine General where. I currently uh, work, and they also bought over ARM Life. Most of us have, uh, most of us will know ARM Life is a big life insurance company. To change the name to Tangerine Life uh, Pension too, they bought over Axad Bansad Pension to name it uh, Tangerine uh, Pension. So it's a very big brand, which in uh, uh, a young guy like me will want to who want to we want <laughs> to associate myself of. with yep. yes that's right so, that's so this good. is where thank I had uh, I, I had the agric insurance oh, thank you very much good. thank you so much so definitely yeah the very you're the right person we should be talking to when it comes to agricultural insurance so because you have the wealth of experience and um, you are you're in the right um, um, a, a, a good place to to talk to us right now thank you so much for giving us the time you know to talk to us um so my uh, my first me, my first question will be to you what what is the benefit of insurance on in in agriculture uh how do what what as a farmer how can you sell because i know nigerian mentality anything insurance is not what we we do generally so how do you what why would you tell me that it's going to be beneficial to me to ensure my you know my farm my products okay thank you for this question i think from my from my wealth of experience i have worked with um, i have worked with uh, with the claims department I've worked with the uh, underwriting department where we have to go to we have to go to 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 the field. Most of my I think I've spent like seven years going to field, going to inspect and uh, farms uh, for pre-insurance and loss loss inspection. I've seen where where uh, I, I don't want to mention name. I don't know if it's fine for me to mention name. No, it's definitely uh, name it's of up farm, to you. Uh, farm. It's okay. Yes, You're definitely. Okay. I, I, I like. Um, I, I've actually, uh, uh work in. Okay, fine, 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 fine. I want to give example with um, Fortune Heights. I am sure people knows Fortune Heights in uh, in, in Lagos. Uh, no, around the uh, Ogun State, Ogun State, Abiokuta, Ogun State, and. And so few farms around there, around, around that area, where you a farmer will come to his farm uh, the following day. He leaves his farm today in a very good shape and come back tomorrow and find out that he's losing about three hundred thousand beds, two hundred uh, two hundred thousand beds, just within five, four, five, uh, five, 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 six hours. You understand? Mm -hmm. I've seen where people collect loan because. Um, uh, based on the, the the law in this country, we have a law in this country where if you loan, you have to bring in insurance cover. That yeah, you oh, have a yeah. cover for this particular amount of loan you are collecting. I've seen mm -hmm. where, where 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 a farmer will invest the entire loan amount, and between two three days, the whole thing is gone, either by way of um of fire in the farm or yeah. by
Yeah, the net the network is hello. Um, yeah, okay, we can hear you now. Okay, let me put let me put off the cam so that um, yes, maybe yes. it will be clearer. It will be a lot easier that way. Yeah. Okay, I've seen where 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 farmers soft. Network, come on. Guys, it's always, you know, I don't know if you guys notice that it's only when we have all some of these very important topics that um the network seems to be, you know, behaving somehow. Uh, on the, the beds. Hello, am I on? Am I okay, on? yeah, you're back on. Yes, you're back on. Okay, okay, okay. So what I was saying is um, I've seen where farmers suffer heavy loss in their farms, either by way of windstorm that mm. they got their pen houses, either poultry pen or piggy pen, collapse on the animals. I've seen where invest invest lot of money on his crop farm, either rice or maize, and at the end you have droughts that the uh, that um, that 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 that, that there will be low yield in the farm. Mm. You understand? So, and when we come on board, luckily most of these farmers, when we come on board, and uh, we we uh, and, uh, luckily they have insurance. We come on board. We look at this. You know, the agriculture is not like the general business. The agric mm. insurance, you come at the, you come to the farm, you see the loss. You see the loss. There is nothing hidden. If there is flood, let's take paper. Hello? Yeah, we can hear you. Go on. Yeah, it's it, yeah, it's everywhere in newspaper. When you go to places like Ida, Ida, there is no mm. single farm in Kogi State. Then 2019, there was no single farm standing. You understand? So you don't look at fraud that maybe somebody is trying to cheat. You make payment instantly. You make payments straightforward so that farmers will now be able to return back to their farm. So one important, one major uh, major uh, advantage of taking insurance cover is because you will pay just a token, just a token, a token, and you relax in your house, knowing fully well that if anything happens, the insurance com company is coming to pay for your loss. Now, I don't know if you permit me to, to just give you a simple calculation of what you pay as insurance for your farm, either oh, a corn farm go, go ahead, or, um, or a poultry farm. Okay, let me, give, let me give example. Let me give example with a poultry bed, with a poultry bed, either broiler. Let me give example with a broiler. Based on my experience in the... Come on, network. Uh, please, I need you to be responding. Uh, Hello? It's time yeah, you, for me to know that breaking. I'm actually talking so that... No, when uh, you talk, I'll let you know. Yeah. Because so am breaks. I online? It's online? Yeah, you're online now. It went off for, for a while. Okay, okay, good. I said, let me give give example with, uh, with, 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 with a poultry bed. Yes. Let me take an umbrella, right. for example. You buy your broiler for 300 naira a day old, a day old for 300 naira. The estimated yes. cost of input on that day old to, to six weeks or seven weeks for you to, to sell off. Let's say you okay. spend um, another uh, one, give you a round figure. Let's say 1,700 so that in total okay. you have 2,000 naira for you to rear a day old broiler oh, right, to yeah. point of uh, sell or to so, matur yeah. maturity. Mm -hmm. Now, it means that your investment on that broiler is 2,000 Naira. Mm -hmm. Now, do you know how much insurance company will ask you? Insurance company will ask you to pay 2.5% of that 2,000. I don't know if you have a calculator there. Sorry, I'm not good in math. I don't have one <laughs> here. Two two point five percent of two point five percent of two thousand. 
two is is about twenty five naira or so. It won't be more than it. It won't be up to three three uh, uh, three thirty naira. Mm. Either twenty five to thirty naira or thirty five naira. Uh, I believe it's um uh, if two point five that's fifty naira. Two point five percent of two thousand fifty naira. Yes. So you are to pay fifty naira, fifty naira for a broiler, where if you suffer loss from that day day old to point of sale, anything that happens to that one broiler bed, we will pay you the cost of purchase. The cost of purchase is three hundred. Mm. The cost of input you use on that bed to the day the bed dies. Dies wow till the day of the mortality. We pay you. Hmm. Let me give you an example with a, with a with with a crop insurance. Hmm. With a crop insurance, we know in Nigeria, averagely you cultivate uh, one hectare of a uh, maize with two hundred and fifty thousand naira. One hectare. Okay. Yeah. Okay. One hectare with two hundred and fifty thousand naira. Okay. This is your estimated cost of input for that one hectare. Hmm. What I mean is estimated cost. Planting, Hello. Yeah. The cost of apicide, the cost mm -hmm. of fertilizer, the cost of labor. This is what I. Yeah. Cost of input. Hmm. So this is the amount you mean you, you, you intend to spend within that period. Within that, if you are doing maize within that four month period, if you are doing four rice, period, yeah. if you are doing a cassava. Cassava, cassava, it means that within one year period. Mm -hmm. So anything that happens to the any 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 natural disaster that happens to that farm, either flood, drought, pest and diseases, fire, windstorm, damage. Mm. How much you are so far on the farm before the loss? An insurance company will now, will now, will now, will now calculate and pay you so that you'll be able to return back to your farm. That is, back if farm. if mm -hmm. it's too, if if it's early enough for you to start that cultivation, but where you have reached a level where it was, it, it is almost um, harvest period, we pay you the full amount you 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 you, you have spent, so that the next farming season you'll be able to. To, 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 to cultivate again. To cultivate. Yeah. Wow. So th these are basically things that um, a lot of people don't understand and they don't know. So how how is um, your company or someone like you um, promoting this to farmers? Because um, I a lot of farmers would, uh, apart from, you know, farmers itself, I know generally... Nigerians, we don't insure things. We just believe uh, they build houses and they don't insure it. Uh, I'm in Canada here and everything has to be insured. If you want to buy a house, you insure as well. You want to, you, are, you have a car, you insure. In fact, cars, they do third party insurance. You can't do that here. You have to do a full insurance. <laughs> you understand? Comprehensive. So, comprehensive insurance you, you get in fact you have to after that you've done that insurance you also have to go do another private insurance you know just in case because you just never know but you know the way we do things in nigeria is so different how do we um you know promote this to farmers because from what you're saying now it's pretty it looks at like something that it's you know it doesn't take a lot to do but it saves you a whole world so how do we promote it? How how do you know you let people know that this thing needs to be done? Because that's how you can promote and pro protect your investment. Okay, thank you. Um, now let me let me tell you in Nigeria as a whole. Mm. And this insurance and uh, agri insurance started. Back then, uh, 19, uh, 1987. Yes. By then, um, the military administrator and and uh, Ibrahim Babangida mm -hmm. 
Now, during that period, they noticed that um, investors were not willing to come to Nigeria to invest their money in agriculture because yeah. of the natural disaster that, natural that usually disaster. occur. Yes. And, uh, and if it occurs, you don't expect, because if it happens, uh, you give a farmer loan of two million naira, and if it happens, you come over, the farmer will say, come to my farm, you will see it. Even before coming to his farm, you see it in news. Mm, yes. You understand? It's always ob That's it's for obvious. the investors. It's not something, for banks, you know, banks yeah. knows it very well. Yeah. Yeah, banks knows it very well. That they cannot, it's, it's not a risk they can actually manage. Mm. You understand? It's not a risk they can actually manage. So banks were not willing then to give a uh, loan to, to farmers. Yes. Now, and uh, uh, from the wisdom of uh, um, the... Uh, the IBB now introduced uh, the National Agricultural Insurance Scheme to Nigeria here. And that was where it started, 1987. Now, the main of Nigeria here, mm. that either a bank or any lending financial institution that is given loan to any Wow. <sighs> we keep we keep missing, you know, a lot of information. Hello, are you there? Well, we lost him. Um, let me see what I would try and just see if I can give him a call so that um it might be a lot easier that way. Because um we seem to be the network is really and you know we have a lot of information here that um, we're getting, but the network is just not um, helping us out here. Hello. Yeah, I noticed I was okay. off. Yes, it's. I was just asking um, Tunde if I could get your number. So maybe if you go off this time around, I'm just going to give you a call because I can also call and while you talk on the phone. So it's going to be a direct call and you still be live just in case it okay. happens again. Yeah, that might be a lot better for us. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. So that's beautiful. You, so you can okay. go on. That's, that's... Okay, okay. So as I was saying, um, I said the federal government also did actually did their best by, oh, mm. by way of making this compulsory for every farmer that is yes. trying to assess loan from mm. the bank. Now, even after that, still we still have some farmers, we still have banks and other lending financial institutions giving loan to farmers without the insurance. Hmm. And now, apart from uh, those uh, target farmers that we have to go to the bank, because of course you know that it's not all farmers that uh, really have access to banks. We have the rural Banks, yeah. farmers there yeah. that don't have yeah. access to go to bank and have. So the government also look at it that come. We also need that penetration down there to the villages. Mm. So that's one main reason why the government had to say, okay, that's one of the reasons why the government said, okay, let us throw it, let us throw this up for other insurance companies to, to also come on board to so that they can board, so that this agri the agriculture can actually penetrate down to the villages, down to the peasant farmers. So this is where the private sector come came, uh, came in, and uh, that, that that's how I also came on board uh, mm -hmm. to to feed and now uh, Tangerine uh, General. Now on our own part, mm. 
And sadly, sadly, um, presently, because of the insecurity in Nigeria, we have this uh, penetration issue uh, uh, becoming a very serious, um, serious issue. I could remember in my former place of work, before the whole of this uh, insecurity escalated to this level, um, mm. I was in Abuja. Right now, I'm in Abuja too. I, I was in Abuja then. So uh, we 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 go we go round uh, from Abuja to uh, Abuja to Kogi State. You have all farms along the road. You have uh, yeah. from Abuja to Kaduna. You have farms along yeah. that road too. So we yes. do go there because let let me tell you the fact. The fact is that if you meet ten poultry farmers, ten poultry farmers, ten poultry farmers, and tell them about agri insur agri insurance. Seven will look for you. Seven will ask you <laughs> to come back so that you can insert cover for them because of the the the, the uncertainty that surrounds Uncertain. our farms yeah. right now. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. You have a lot of diseases that people are not aware of. You vaccine your best against Gomboru. You vaccine your, your best against Newcastle. But yet, mm. when there is mortality, you go and check, you see that it's Newcastle. Mm. You, 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 you check your best, you know that the mortality is against Gomboru. So if you check them, you check them, you, if, you, if, you, if you were able to meet 10 farmers, I can actually, 6 to 7 farmers will call back to, okay. um, to accept cover. But the thing is, the insecurity in the country right now is actually uh, something else that we prefer to sit down in the city or uh, sit down in the city, try to locate the owner of the farms, mm. Either by way of internet, because you show that if you type in, you type in as okay, I want to know all the farmers in Abuja, mm -hmm. all the uh, registered farmers in Abuja, it will come online. Will come then we we'll try to check them one after the other. We call them to, and then we we'll send our proposals and the rest. Wow, uh, thank so, you. Uh, so and uh, uh, one, uh, one other way is uh, uh, trying to um, collaborate with the bank because most mm. farmers now, thank God for. Uh, the lot of uh, federal government intervention through NISAL Microfinance Bank and through mm. other um, uh, agri loans should be one digit. Mm. You understand? So most most farmers go to banks. So we try to uh, sensitize the fa the banks to let them know how very important it is and to look at insurance as part of the risk management they need to put in place before they can give them. Um, a uh, 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 farmer loan. So uh, these are these are the few things we're able to achieve right now, and we are working towards it. But uh, meeting the farmers directly, directly, <laughs> it has become a, a very serious issue uh, mm -hmm. right now. Right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, that, that's true. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, it's uh, I just have um I'm gonna run um like a few comments that I have. Um I have um Aru Wewe TV he says thank you for bringing this gentleman to on the program today. Uh he also said uh, wow, so cheap. I believe that's when you mentioned how much um to insure a bird. <laughs> he was like wow, so cheap. And um, also, he wants to know, can farmers in places like Ilori and Oshobo have access to these insurance services? So if you'd like to answer okay. that. Okay. Uh, 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 let me let you know. I, I, I myself, I'm from Adama State. Uh, okay. Uh, down there in the, um, in, in, in the notes. Yes. Not, uh, with, so... Um, if you have a farm in Zamfa, in uh, what's it called? This um, in Sambisa Forest, Sambisa mm -hmm, Forest, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. in Sambisa Forest. If you are a farmer in Sambisa Forest, I can assure you that we can grant you cover. All, All what right. we need is if we will not be able to go there because in agriculture insurance we need to go, we need to see your farm, we need to verify. What you what what you what what uh, you are actually into? If you tell mm -hmm. if you are if you if you fill the form that you have two thousand beds, we need to be sure that yes, you have two thousand beds so that we can verify their losses. So yeah, thank God for for mobile phone now. 
So I don't need to be in a, a Sambisa for me to be sure that, yeah, you have 2,000 beds. You understand? Yes. All what I need to do is for you to use your smartphone, do a video, and mm -hmm. let me see. You can do a video call. Let me see that, yeah, you have a 2,000 beds. Yeah, you have a farm. You have a 2,000 mm -hmm. beds, and you pay for your insurance. That is all. Mm -hmm. And where you have yeah. loss, where you have losses, that's what I just needed to do. You just give me a call. For me to verify, you can do a video call. Mm. If it's not much, I can ask you to just snap it and send it to me. Mm. That is all. So anywhere you are in this country, anywhere you are in this country. And mind you, earlier I said that Tangerine uh, brand bought over about uh, four companies. Four, not 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 mm, those yes. companies that are start where start are starting up. They bought over Law Union that is over 50 years. So you have branches mm. of Law Union. Within the country, you have country, branches yeah. of ARM Life, you have branches of Axad Bansad. You understand? Mm. So, wherever you have those branches, you also have our presence there. So, if I cannot, uh, I cannot visit your farm, of course, I can send somebody to see your farm. So That's where it is necessary. Your farm might be very close to, to, yes, to that where, is your where farm it is, is necessary. Now. Yes, that is where it's necessary. Where it's not necessary, I ask you to do a video call. We do a video call and we grant you cover instantly wow thank you so much mr yuba john it's been wonderful talking to you um it's an eye opener because um i i also never knew it was so cheap to i i know i do know that insurance can be cheap because here in canada i've done a yeah i do things and i have to insure them you understand in fact i have a mobile phone and i still insure it yeah, just you know it's okay amazing let me let me let me tell you something does. let me let let, yeah. let let me tell you something sorry for cutting you yeah go on now insurance in canada and other part of this country other parts of the world is very expensive compared oh, yeah. to what it we is. have in nigeria here it now is. let me tell you something do you know why do you know why it's so cheap in nigeria mm. agri insurance now told you earlier that ibb brought in agric insurance in nigeria yeah it was just uh, it, it was just a prototype that was taken from i think uh, india or any other country that were already doing agric insurance and say okay mm. you guys will start doing agric insurance you understand so yeah. and the agric insurance here in nigeria is even different from what you have over there in the other world when you when when, mm. when they when, when they visit nigeria what we are actually covering, they, they, they will be surprised. Like, how can you be covering multiple peril? Mm, mm, mm. This kind of premium rates in US, in US, in Canada, you have uh, they call it uh, in crop insurance. It's just one peril, just one peril. Mm. Oh, yeah. And it can be as high as 16% premium rate. 16%. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. With just it, one, just, it, yeah, with just one peril. very expensive. But here, yeah. here we have multiple peril. Yeah, here we mm. have multiple peril. You have fire, you have drought, you have pest and disease. Mm -hmm. Understand yeah. you have so 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 uh, uh agri insurance in Nigeria is a bonus mm. I, that I think everybody should embrace. There you have it, guys. You've heard it from um Mr. John Ayuba, the you know um a top insurance um person telling you insurance is a must for your farm you, you know it should it should come with you know whatever you do because um you want to protect your investment that's just the, the main thing it's better than the alternative not having one so i i know personally i've i've been through something like that so you you want to have insurance that that's just it uh you want to ensure your birds you want to ensure your product your animals you know so um from everything we spoke talked um, we talked about i know um i know you ensure virtually you know different things but um can you just um let us know exactly what and what you ensure 
like um, animal props and things like that, so that um, the viewers will, will actually know these are the things um, you know Tangerine Af um, General ensures. Okay, yeah. So, um, Agric Insurance generally is um, is um, expected to and and insure all rigs across the agricultural value chain. Mm. Now, when I talk, when, when I say the value chain, I mean from the farm to the customer that is buying your pizza, that is buying mm. your your shawarma, that is mm. buying the end products. Yes. Take it in his home. So, mm. agric insurance intend to cover the entire value chain. Value chain, yeah. Now, I'll give you an example of, of this coverage. First, we have the production. The production is the real uh, the, the activities on the farm. Mm. The planting, the, the, the planting of uh, the planting. That's the crop, the crop on yeah. the farm, yeah, to harvest the production from day old chicks, from day old chicks to um, to point of sales, the mm. cattle insurance, and the rest. All of these are what we term as the production part of agri insurance. insurance. So under the production part, we have we have the poultry insurance. The poultry, all beds under all beds like uh, broiler, layers, uh, cockerel, turkey, dog, and the rest, all are classified under the poultry type of insurance. And the poultry type of insurance, mainly what are covered, not only the poultry, not only poultry now, mainly what yeah. we cover under our agriculture insurance, or what we cover under agriculture insurance. Let me not limit it to our. Let's say mm. what is covered under agriculture insurance generally is natural disaster. disaster. So in mm. your poultry farm, in your poultry farm, what you term as natural disaster, that is uh, mm. a collapse of penthouse on your bed is a natural disaster. Mm. Diseases is a natural disaster. That is where you have um, where where uh, where a situation that is a situation where you have vaccine those beds against those diseases mm. in poultry beds we know all we know we, we almost know all of the diseases if you yeah. if you poultry if you poultry poultry farmer now buy his best you know the vaccine from the from from the one to to the end of production end he knows the vaccine yeah. that yeah he knows the vaccines that he should uh, administer to the beds so where you mm. administer those vaccines and you still have mortality it is termed as natural disaster. Mm. Mm. Where you mm. have fire on your farm is a natural disaster. So these are these are these when you have storm blowing up the roof of your farm and you have mortality is a natural disaster. Where you have stampede and uh, due to a, a kind of sound and the rest is a natural yeah. disaster. These are what we term as natural disaster, and all of these are covered under the poultry class of insurance. Then we have the fishery. Mm. It, can, it can be fish in pond, a concrete pond, it can be in a eating pond, it can be in a plastic pond, it can be in rubber, it can be anyhow you are, anyhow you tend to, to rear the fish, all we have cover. And the cover is to cover the, 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 the fish against losses arising from from collapse of the uh, of the collapse of the of the, of the fish pond of the pond mm. due to flood mm. or diseases they are covered now uh, we have a crop insurance to also cover part of the production where you have uh, pests and diseases affecting mm. your farm where you have a uh, fire where you have drought where you planted and uh, there is no rain again, you understand to 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 keep the the, the crop. Oh, you understand, yeah. or you have excess of rain. We have a cover for it, which we call a multi multi crop peril insurance uh, cover. 
Then we have our livestock policy. Apart from the apart from the fishery and poultry, we have a flash livestock policy that covers your cattle, your cattle, your pigs, your goats, mm. your rabbit, your sheep. All of these are classified under the uh, under the livestock cover. Livestock cover. And what we cover, what we, what we cover, the perils we cover. When I mean peril, I mean the loss, the loss, the loss. that are covered under the livestock. Uh, accident and disease just like like the like like your livestock insurance your life insurance yes. because we are covering the life of the animal uh, so the what animal, you cover yeah. is dead is dead arising from accident or disease or oh, disease the animal mm, wow. the animal thank you so much yes. so guys there you have it guys um i have um the website okay of, okay, um, okay sorry sorry i have one yeah, more one. i have one more yeah, one, i have one, one more other policy yeah. Yeah. I have one more policy. Yeah, apart from the production, we also have one other policy that after your production, you know, uh, when you invest your rice, you have based your, you have based your maize, you need to move those uh, farm produce to a warehouse or a store. Yeah. And they are... Am I still online? Yeah, you're back. Yeah. Am I still? On? Okay, you're okay, back, okay. Yeah. I said so. After the after the, after the production, there is need for you to move those farm produce from your from from the farm to a warehouse or to the market. So there are also rigs that are attached to that 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 uh, that that chain. Rigs of mm. accident on the road. On the road, yeah. You understand? So we also mm. cover. We also grant a GIT cover. That will cover those goods moving from the from the farm to a warehouse, from a farm to a storehouse, from a farm to a marketplace, to the market where you are. Yeah. Am I back now? Yeah, okay. you're back now. So where if you are moving them to a warehouse, you also have a risk of fire. Wow, seems we lost him finally. Um, it's it's just been a wealth of information um, on the show today, despite the technical issue. I want to say thank you so much, guys, for being part of the show. Uh, Mr. Ayuba John has been, you know, very um, informative. He's given us a lot of information about insurance and um, the benefits we we get from insuring our our farm, our um, produce and things like that, our crops. So uh, guys, get on board. If you farmer true at heart, you need to protect your investment. Get on in, on board. Contact Tangerine um, General. Um, I have their website scrolling at the bottom of the screen. Um, you know, contact them. And um, also, I'll ask Mr. John when. Oh, he's back now. Uh, so, Mr. Um, Ayuba John, is it okay for me to have your number on here, or do you want me to put the email um, of your of uh, on the website? Hello, sir. Are you are you there? Yes. Okay. So I was uh, just ask. I was just asking. I didn't hear what you said earlier. I was just asking um, if it's okay for me to have um, um, Tunde just sent me your contact because I was planning on calling your WhatsApp. Um, so is it okay for me to have that number on here? Because I know that's your personal number. Or do you want me to just put the email on your website? Yeah, the net, the network is pretty bad. So, um, so like I was saying, you guys need to get on board. Um, no matter how small your farm is, you you should learn to insure. Um, insurance is very very you know important in any business you do. 
um, always protect yourself in every way. Uh, protect your animals, protect your produce, protect, protect, protect your investment. It's very important. Contact um, Tangerine General. Their website is at the bottom of the screen. Um, go on the website. You see their email. Their address is there. Uh, they have offices in Lagos, Abuja, and, you know, we are around. So just contact them and um, you'll be able to, you know, get information needed for whatever um your farming need is um so for today our topic has been um um agricultural insurance for farmers the benefit of agricultural environment you can see how beneficial it is it is very important guys get on board in you know protect yourself pro protect your investment uh you know there are so many um ups and down when it comes to agriculture and um, you want to be protected you don't want your investment to just go down the drain so go ahead contact um tangerine general um you have the information at the bottom of the screen um and i just want to say thank you for everybody that joined in um i want to say uh for commenting on the show thank you so much and uh, for those that are going to be watching us at a later date as well i want to say thank you because um i know you guys are still going to bombard me with a lot of uh, messages and, and things like that so thank you so much um in advance for being part of the show um i'm just going to wait a few minutes it's for Mr. Yuba John to see if he's going to join back in. And if he doesn't, then I'm just going to close out the show. Uh, okay, he's back. Hello, sir? Yeah, I think I'm back. Okay, yes. So thank you so much. Um, I'll, I'll, I was just um, asking that, um, is it, uh, in case they want to contact you, how, how can, um, you know, viewers or anybody that was watch, watches the show want to can contact you so that in case they want more information about um you know insurance for their farm uh let me let me let me let me let me let me not do like uh, what happened in kogi state 20 Hello, Mr. Yuba, are you there? Yeah, the, the network is pretty bad. I'll be receiving from the farmer. I'll be receiving okay, from yeah. the farmer, yeah, so back, I think yeah. it's good. So please, you can... Okay, okay, okay. Please, uh, you can uh, feel free to call me at any time with okay. um, my number, through my number. Can I call the number now? Uh, just give me a minute. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, go ahead. Okay, my phone number is zero eight zero. Okay. Five zero. Okay. Two four. Two yep. four. Four nine. Four nine. So that's um zero eight zero five zero two four two four four nine. Yes, you can always reach me on the okay, line. Okay, so I'm going to and I'll be glad. Uh, uh, so that is scrolling at the bottom of the screen as well. So in case you want to talk about anything in charms um for your farm, contact uh Mr. Ayuba John. Uh, and um, you'll be able to put you through on that so um so thank you so much sir for being part of it. The, there's still a lot we're going to be talking about and also i am thinking i might have to get um today to maybe to come to your office and do a video with you so that um we can talk more about insurance because this is a it's a very important topic it's um you know it, it should come with you should, as you're planning your farm, you should be planning to have an insurance as well to go with it so that you can protect your investment. So uh, I see it as very, very important, you understand. And I know a lot of farmers will see that as well. 
So um, we'll, we'll, I'll get to talk to you. I'll contact you as well because um, I have some information I want to ask as well when we're done the show. So I'll contact you on WhatsApp. The number you just gave us is on, on WhatsApp as well, right? Okay, no, no, that's not my WhatsApp line. I think uh, okay, I think has I have that. Yeah, line. yeah, he sent that to me. So I'll contact. That's you the line, that. and we communicate. Okay, yeah, I'll contact you on that one. So, um, thank you so much. So, what's your last word for our viewers today, our fathers today? Hello, Mr. Ayuba, are you there? Hello? Hello, Mr. Ayuba, are you there? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, so he's not hearing me right now. I don't know what's happening. Um, the network just, um, like you said, it's, it's starting or it's raining in Abuja right now. So um, it's always very hard when it rains back home. Um, you know, so thank you so much, guys, for being part of the show, for staying tuned with us, uh, for not um, giving up despite our multi-technical issue. It's not easy um, from two different, um, you know, continent you know trying to connect and all that and you know uh it, 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 we're doing our best and um, um i appreciate you guys for staying tuned always and uh, going back to watch the show as well so um you know our topic today it's very important um get on board of insurance for your farm protect your investment protect your investments uh, you can never say that um uh, enough it's very very important so let's make sure we get on board um we'll have um tangerine general contact uh, scrolling at the bottom of the screen can get in touch with them you see how cheap it is you know it's very very important you know it's better than the alternative you know so please do get on board uh let me see if he, he can hear us now hello mr Iwa, can you hear me yeah Yes, I can hear you. I can hear okay. you. Okay. Um, so I was just um I just wanted you to give us your last words um to farmers and to everybody so we can sign out. And um, like I said, um I I would want I'll talk to you more on, on WhatsApp because I would want um us to still do another video without any technical issues so that um you know we'll be able to pass you know more information to all farmers so uh please let's have your last words okay thank you very much yeah i'll first of all want to thank you for giving me this opportunity it's actually a rare opportunity i've never received um this kind of invite without me <laughs> attending at all because wow. i know that is a kind of preaching preaching to farmers <laughs> i take this personal wherever i find myself to let farmers that know that yes we have you uh, backed now i'm not talking about the insurance company i'm working for i'm not talking about mm. the company but i'm talking mm. that i'm talking of generally that yes yeah. it, 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 that you 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 need to insure your farm looking at the yeah. very tiny premium you know premium mm. is 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 a certain amount you are sure of paying yes to avoid the heavy loss that you may pay later. You may pay later. Yeah. You understand? Like I so, always, I always so tell people that it's better it's than It's actually a what um um doing um an 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 event. Hello, can you hear me? Wow, the network today is just something else. Oh, we have flood. You yeah. understand? So you can't tell. It's unpredictable. 
the climate change is something else. Today, in this country, last year, we have places where I have suffered loss due to drought, while another part of the country are suffering loss due to flood. Hmm. So, so, so there is, is just unpredictable. Hmm. And the small amount, your one hectare of rice farm, where you spend two hundred thousand, the insurance company can tell you that you you pay in, in crop is even less. It's even less expensive as um, as a fifty naira I said earlier. In mm. crop, that fifty naira can be thirty naira in crop for you to come. Mm. Wow. For so many years, uh, yeah, you have more experience in the field. But I have gone to many farms to check the losses all through by 12, 13 years now in the market. I've gone, uh, I've stayed in the east and the north and the south. All I've gone to inspect and I've seen people crying, crying for loss, for the loss they have suffered. Some people end up even losing their lives because of the investment that they have done on the farm, that they have invested on the farm. Knowing fully well that the banks will be coming on them, or knowing fully well that they will be going on serious debt. Mm. Lots of people have lost their life because of this. So I would advise that it is better you pay that sure amount, sure amount you know you will pay, mm. to avoid the amount you know you don't know, you don't know you will pay tomorrow. Yes. So that's just my last uh, last word for the farmers. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for being part of the show. Thank you for this um, informative um, information. And, um, you know, a lot of people just don't understand how important it is to ensure, you know, insurance is just very, is a, is a, is a, is a important part of doing business. So you have to have it. Uh, you know, you don't want to learn the hard way. It's better than the alternative, which is you not having it and you losing everything. So do f go ahead, farmers, like uh, Mr. Hubert John has, has said, ensure your farm, contact um, Tangerine General, contact Mr. Yuba. He will push you through on everything that um, is needed and um, you'll be glad you did. Um, you know, you, you just never know. In this world, in this stage we are right now in the world, in this world, <laughs> you never know what would happen. So please go ahead, um, get on board, and uh, we we'll want to say thank you again for coming on the show. Uh, we hope when we call to you once more, you're going to be, you know, you 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 have the time to share with us, and um, do stay blessed, and um, we'll talk to you very soon again. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for having me. I'll be looking forward to something like this again. Oh, definitely. We, we're definitely going to do it again, like I said. Because, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's important. Yeah. Thank Bye. you. All right. Cheers. Bye. Uh, so, guys, thank you so much for being part of the show. Thank you for staying tuned. Despite all the technical issues, you know, You've seen how important it is to have insurance. Uh, Mr. Yuba John has been able to share with us, um, you know, information on, you know, the benefits why we should have insurance on the farm. So no matter how small your farm is, please get on board, um, get an insurance company, um, preferably get, um, you know, Tangerine Africa um, General, um, I'm, you know, it's no, I'm not an affiliate of them. I'm not, they're not paying me, you know, but, um, I'm talking about insurance itself. So, and this is what I have heard now. This is the person I've spoken to. So I'm definitely going to promote them. So, um, get on board, contact them and, um, you'll be glad you did. And, um, if you know, have any comments or any information you want to pass along to us, please do that on our, any of our social media handles. Please, um, you know, 
contact us there if you have any topic you want us to talk about or you have someone that you want us to interview um just share the person or even if it's you a farmer if you're a farmer and um you want to share your experiences you want to share you know how things has been on your farm you, your know-how please contact us on on our social media handles farmer hub tv and um we'll, we'll you know we'll we'll do something together we'll, we'll talk we always love um, hearing people's um um experience they are joining into farming so please let's get on board and um we'll, we'll be glad um you know to talk to you any day anytime um, you know just let us know and um, we we'll, would we'll, you know we'll provide the time for you to share your experiences thank you so much for being part of the show once again if you like what we're doing please give us a thumbs up and um you know share with your family and friends and uh, you know our last words always um no farmer no food if you see a farmer, say thank you to them because with them, the life, the world um, keeps um, living. Uh, you know, uh, always say thank you to a farmer anyway. You see them. Thank you so much for being part of the show. And um, till we come back next week again, we'll hopefully we'll bring someone um, else on the show. And, um, you know, we'll see you. Peace.